Hi guys! So welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show and tell you the things that you need to know before and after you buy a violin. So before we get to it, please make sure to like, share, and please click the subscribe button. And then that's it. So let's go. Before you buy a violin, please make sure na it is the right size for you because most of the students and parents bumibili agad sila ng full size without even consulting with a violin teacher. So, if you're going to measure the violin for our kids, what this is what we're going to do. Put the violin dito sa ilalim ng baba and then try to reach the end of the violin which is a scroll with your center palm. It should be an arm's length. Kapag ganyan, kapag lampas na yun sa akin, it's okay. Because this is already the full size. So, here, dapat nakaganyan siya. Yung bata. And then, may mga bata kasi na sobrang bata. For example, mga 6 or 7 years old, bumili na agad sila na full size. And then, ang nangyari, parang may cello sila sa baba nila. <laughs> Hindi nila ma-reach yung dulo. So, you need to be careful on buying a violin because pupunta ulit kayo sa music store para ipapalit yun. Okay? And I'm going to put the the size guide on the description below so you know what to do. Okay? The next thing that you need to know if you want to have a shoulder rest or not. So, if you want to see a shoulder rest, it's supposed to be like this. Okay? Maganda na to. Gusto ko, I mean, hindi naman siya kamahalan and hindi, hindi naman siya yung pinakamura pa. Okay na to. Maganda naman siya. And it supports my shoulder. Kaya, kasi, uh, one reason why that I need this is because medyo mahaba yung leg ko. See? And it supports the violin talaga to secure here para hindi siya dumulas. And then, there's the strings. So, with the current situation that we're in right now, mahirap talaga because usually, the students rely on the teachers for their violins to be tuned. So, ayun. But they need to learn those kinds of things right now because walang magtutu walang magtutuno, walang, walang magtutono sa kanila. So, what I recommend is for them to buy or look for a budget strings. I'm going to put uh, the link on the description again. So, kapag para napatiran sila, they have a spare. And then there's the rosin. So, if you want to see a rosin, ito yung box niya. Ito. Ito. So, question, bakit marami akong rosin? Wala lang. Charot. Hindi. <laughs> uh, because they have different kinds of tone quality na binibigay sa strings. Especially yung, yung pag-stroke mo, uh, iba yung bite niya. So, yeah. And I have uh, different kinds of bow para dito. One bow, one bow, one bow. Para hindi mag-mix yung dusts doon sa bow hair. If you're wondering na may rosin ba sa loob ng case kapag bagong bili, Yes, meron. But if you want to buy a branded product like this, you can do so because uh, the rosin inside the violin is ordinary. So if you want to have a good tone quality, uh, this is the brand that I suggest. Because I'm fanatic on the So uh, if you want to hear, if you want to see the different, uh, the difference of the tone quality nito. Gagawa ko na review. Okay? Okay? <laughs> then, there's purchasing. So, don't get deceived na sa mga online stores, especially sa mga sale na nagpa price drop to 1 to 2,000. Because, for sure, na poor quality na yun. And then, alam mo naman tayo mga Pilipino, kusan, tayo, kusan mas mura doon tayo bibili. And then, end of the day, hindi tayo satisfied. So, usually kasi mga standard prices is for 4 to 6,000. So, with our current situation right now, hindi natin matatest on hand yung violin. So, it's very hard. Especially kapag hindi siya fully set up. So, what I recommend, I have this store na I always buy. I, I trust these stores. And I'm going to put 
them on the description below again. Oh, di ba? Dami ko yung pupot na. So, this store, they fully set up the violin, the instrument, and hindi siya nalalayo sa price ng student grade violin. And if you also want to know where I buy my strings and crossings, I'm going to put it down below. So, after you know what to do and what to buy, na kind of violin that you want, for an example, ito na siya. You need to take care of it, okay? Because the set, the violin is very sensitive and delicate. Bawal siya sa sobrang mainit. Okay? Um, in high humidity, bawal. So, kapag sa sobrang init, baka uh, mag-break na lang yung wood or mag-loosen yung strings. Kapag sa sobrang lamig naman, mahihigpitan niyo sobrang magsistretch yung strings. Ito tighten up and then baka uh, mas mabilis pa siyang mapartid. Kapag expensive pa yung strings mo, lagot ka. Okay. So, yun nga, kapag sa sobrang init o sa sobrang lamig, kapag nasa loob siya ng case, nagmo-moist siya. So, I don't know kapag ginag ginagawa rin nito ng ibang violinist, but uh, what I recommend is to use this, if you know silica gel. Ayan. There's one, two. Hindi, siya, hindi mo siya kailangan bilhin because makikita mo na lang siya sa mga shoebox, sa mga stock rooms ng bahay nyo. So, if you have this, put it inside the violin case. And then, because kapag, kapag close nga ng case nyo, nagmamoist siya. So, ito, inihigop niya yung moist. Okay. Moving on. And next, kapag nakabili ka na, ito yung nut. O, oh, di ba mahilig ako sa nut? Natatanat! <laughs> Dapat kasi yung nut, kasama to sa mga fully set up ng mga luthier, Kapag sobrang taas kasi, but sobrang sakit talaga, ina-emphasize ko na. Kapag sobrang taas, para nilalagari yung fingertips mo dito, mahirap ang tumugtog, hindi ka pa mag -e enjoy And then, there's the bridge. It's supposed to be like this. And the bridge, kapag, since kapag nakabili na kayo ng violin, the bridge must be in line with the hole here, yung may patosok dito. And the other side. Yeah. And dapat, yung bridge, nandito, pantay siya. Pwede mo siyang i-adjust. Kapag ganun-ganun. But, it needs to be at the center, dito, katapat ng fingerboard. Now, for the sound post. The sound post is the very soul of your violin. So, what is a sound post? Ito ang sound post. Kapag nakikita niyo ayan. Ayan, yung stick sa loob. So, kapag nakapwesto siya, dapat, Ang palatandaan namin kasi dyan ay dapat nasa ilalim ng bridge, nasa likod ng bridge, nasa tapat ng first string. Okay? Nasa likod ng bridge, nasa tapat ng first string. Because the sound post, it helps support the bridge. Kasi nga, sa sobrang higpit na strings, kapag walang sound post, baka mabasag lang yung violin. Baka bumaon lang doon. And it helps the vibration na rin to direct it here. Ewan ko ba? Kung ganun. Basta yun. And then, here comes the bow. Okay. So, this is one of my bows. This is um, a brand called Koda Bow. I think it's Koda Bow GX. So, this is this one. Uh, my mother gave this to me last December. So, if you want to know more dito sa bow na to, ipuput ko sa description ulit. So, before we use the bow, dapat ito, nakalusen up talaga siya. And then, kapag ito-tighten up natin may screw dito, nako, huwag nyo talagang ihihigpitan itong bow na to na parang dito yung stick ay nakatuwid na or mababanat na. One way to heaven na itong bow, kapag mama, ito, bibili ka na ng panibago. Huwag yung ganyan. Dapat, i-loosen up natin ng konti. Dapat, naka-bend siya, naka-usually naka pa din siya. But, at the same time, separate yung, separate yung bow hair doon sa wood. Or, in my case, ito, carbon fiber. And then, after gamitin natin yung bow, we need to loosen it up because kapag naka-tighten up siya, and then, naiwan natin for several days, nagsisettle in din siya, katulad ng strings. 
So hanggang sa bumababa na tong wood. Hanggang sa wala na tayo mapihit dito. Wawa tayo. Wawa. Basta yun. So here comes the shoulder rest. Twing! Uh, a shoulder rest is usually ito, bigger part and a smaller part. Ang bigger part is be just below the chin rest. Ito yung chin rest. Kasi nilalagay mo yung chin. Nilalagay dito. And then, put it there. Ayan. Ayan. It's, it is very secure. And then, it's very easy to move your fingers dito. <laughs> now, after you play the violin, make sure na to clean it. Okay? So, uh, what kind of cloth that you need to have? Ito, pang violin cleaner, or just a soft cloth. It's okay. I have two of them. Ito, paninis ko ng wood. Ito, paninis ko ng string. Uh, bakit ko kailangan tanggalin yung rosin doon sa string? Because, iba-iba nga yung rosin ko. And, I... Every time na I play, I want to have a different kind of approach sa tone quality. Okay? So, ito, additional lang sa mga accessories ng violin. Violin. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. This is a practice mute. So, if you want to buy this, it's okay na to buy this online. Kahit saan, okay lang na mura. Parang na nasa 100 lang to or so. This is very useful kapag gusto mo mag-practice na malakas na nalilimit yung sound ng violin. So, if you don't malakas ka tumugtog, you can use this, mag-practice. Uh, hindi may istorbo that much yung parents mo, yung mga kapatid mo, mga kapitbahay mo. Yun. Yun. So, if sa tingin nyo, I forgot something to tell, please comment down below. And if you want to ask something with regards to this topic, same. And then, yun lang. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!